Hi, it's Toronto's real estate team at Remax, and here is our October 2017 Toronto Real Estate Market Report. The big surprise this month was the year-over-year -year appreciation percentage. I'll comment more on that in this broadcast as we go through the market report. So let's review some of the Toronto Real Estate Board statistics and see what's happened. Sales were down 27% for October compared to last year, with 7,118 houses and condominiums changing hands in all the districts. Although it's common for the market to rebound higher once we are into the fall market, this only happened fractionally. We had the lowest sales for October since 2012. Condo townhouse and high-rise suites took a 35.9% share of the market, with 2,552 units being sold. The October average sale price for all GTA homes came in at $780,104, a mere 2.3% higher than last year. If you consider the year-to-date average compared to last year, however, the market is still up 13.7%, which shows that not all those gains in price during the insane spring have been lost. The active listing inventory is one of the strongest indicators of how smooth or outrageous the market has been. The inventory average for the month of October compared to historical numbers was just about even, but up a big 79% from last year at this time. However, this is occurring selectively, with the central core Toronto neighbourhood still doing very well, while the outer regions, Peel, York and Durham, are not doing well at all. The sales to listings or percent chance of selling ratio is how we determine what type of market we're actually in. 24 to 28 percent is a neutral market, below 24 percent is a buyer's market, and above 28 percent is a seller's market. In October that ratio finished at 37.7 percent compared to 92 percent last year and down from March's 154 percent. We're now just in a barely above neutral, slight seller market territory, so owners with their homes on the market may need to adjust their expectations if they want their homes sold. The days on market average for Toronto homes was 23 days, one day faster than September. So let's look at what's happening in the downtown Toronto condominium market. West of Young and south of Bloor in the CO1 Treb district, the average sale price for October was $610,708. That average moved up 24.6% from the same time last year. With 396 condo sales in the month, the numbers were down 21% compared to 2016. There were 594 active listings on the market in October, 9% fewer than last year. The ratio of sales to listings was 66.7%, which keeps CO1 in very busy seller's market territory. The average days on market came in at 19, two days faster than last month. Now east of Young and south of Bloor in the CO8 Treb district, the average sale price for October was just over $599,000. That number was up 25% compared to 2016. And with 166 condo sales in the month, the numbers were down 13% from last year. There were 215 active listings on the market in October, down 4% from 2016. The ratio of sales to listings was an incredible 77.2% for the month. That number keeps CO8 solidly in extremely busy seller market territory. The average days on market came in at 18, one day faster than last month. Here's a summary of the significant real estate milestones for October 2017, with dramatic changes in some neighbourhoods, while others are still doing very well. We saw the lowest number of overall sales for the month of October since 2011 at 7,118, although they were up by several hundred homes from September. And the ratio of sales to listings increased from September's 33.5% to 37.7% in October, a very moderate seller's market. The average sale price climbed slightly to $780,104, still up 13.7% year-to-date compared to 2016 because of higher sales of lower-priced condos. And there was a 2.3% average sale price increase from October 2016, 
Traditionally, we've seen an average annual appreciation of 6.8% over the last 20 years. Also, sales in the month were down almost 27% from one year ago. The GTA real estate market overall averaged the days on market at 23, still quick compared to many markets. First-time buyer aspirations are now shifting to a condominium lifestyle. Condo sales took a highest ever 35.9% of the total market in October, about 3% more than average. Downtown condo listings were lower by 4 to 9% from last year at this time, and the days on market average was 18 to 19 days. The ratio of sales to listings for condos downtown ranged between 66.7% in CO1 to 77.2% in CO8, indicating a strong seller's market, well ahead of the rest of the GTA. And the average sale price for downtown condominium suites is still up by roughly $120,000 from 2016. Building on this higher demand due to better affordability, Condo appreciation in the two main downtown markets averaged 25% year-over-year. Markets in York Region and other 905 neighbourhoods have suffered the most from the market slowdown. Every district is now showing that they're in buyer market territory. Overall, it's a perfect opportunity now in many neighbourhoods with the increased inventory for a buyer to find a home they fall in love with and negotiate with the seller one-on-one -on -one for a change. This month, we're looking at the stats for monthly sales at the Toronto Real Estate Board. Typical for most fall markets, sales increased in October compared to September, this year by 11.6%, but we're down significantly from last year at this time. Don't forget we have another major event coming as of January 1st, when the new mortgage qualification stress tests take effect for those buyers purchasing with over 20% down. This upcoming event may have contributed to some of the increased October sales and also might cause sales to bump up a bit into November and the beginning of December before the holiday season causes its typical slowdown. So what's a terrific way to make your first baby step into Toronto's real estate market and find out where those more affordable choices are? The best first step is to go on a market experience tour of condo or house neighborhoods with one of our team members. Leave your checkbook at home. What a tour is not intended to do is show you homes with the intention that you'd immediately buy one. What it is intended to do is give you an opportunity to get a clearer idea of what's available on the market in your favourite parts of the city and in your price range without worrying about being pressured into having to make an immediate buying decision. Once you've had your tour, we want you to go back home and think about what you saw. You'll then be better able to set up a good home buying plan and make smart, educated decisions about where and when you want to be in your new home. You can sign up for your condo tour at marketexperiencetour.com and a tour of houses at dailytorontohometours.com. Check back here in early December for our November 2017 Toronto Real Estate Market Report.